A typical recommendation system takes two types of data as input. One is so-called numerical dense features, examples like age, like number of purchase per month, like active minutes per day, um, and you are on a certain application. And the, the other type of input is the categorical sparse features, examples like gender, like a product ID, like location. Um, sparse feature usually is very large due to its nature. And uh, with both dense and sparse feature as input, they pass through the recommendation models and uh, generate an output. The most commonly used output of the recommendation system is the prob probability of a click also called as CTR, click-through rate. It indicates with all the dense and sparse context feature presented now, whether the user will end up with accepting the recommendation or not. And you can imagine already why it's so important to build the best recommendation systems in order to generate the best business values. Hyperscalers and many other enterprise customers are working very hard in this domain. Recommendation system is so important, yet there are many technical challenges to solve. Um, every accuracy improvement directly translates into business values. Hence, the accuracy requirement is, is very high. Because of that, oftentimes the recommendation models are very big and the data set is huge in order to cover more scenarios. Model retraining is another challenge in order to get the most up-to-date models based on user data.